Welcome to our channel and in today's video we will talk about job interview questions in Germany, tips and examples. As I've done my first and second interview in Germany, I have a lot of information to share with you. So please subscribe to this channel and let's start. The interview is your chance to convince the company that you are a right candidate to hire and preparation is the key ingredient and it's very important to be prepared. So find some of the main job interview questions in Germany and how to answer them in this video. You should arrive on time around 10 minutes before the scheduled start time and it's very important that you dress in smart business um, clothes and it's also a good idea to bring a copy of your CV and other documents that are important for your job position. And you should also note that it's important in Germany um, from my experience as well to maintain plenty of eye contact to show respect as well as brushing up what you wrote in your application, it's a good idea to do some background research before your interview on your interviewers, the company and the industry if you haven't already done so. You can also reread the job description before the interview to remind yourself on, of what specific skills the employer is looking for. You should also go through some standard interview questions to prepare. You don't need to memorize your answers, but taking time to consider how you will respond will help you to feel confident during the interview, like an exam. In, if German isn't your native language, it's also a good idea to learn some useful words and phrases according to your job. So let's talk now about typical job interview questions in Germany. First one is, please introduce yourself and tell us what makes you a great fit for this position. That question I got by myself and I was prepared for it because I've also researched a lot about the interviews in Germany. Uh, one of my interviews was in German language, so it was <laughs> ambition hard, but the second was English and it was pretty easy. So yeah, you have to prepare if uh, a lot if the interview is not in your native language or your second language. So why they ask this question? Um, at this stage, the interviewers want to get to know you. They have already read your CV, but they want to understand how you see yourself and how you present yourself. That's very important. How to answer it? Don't just repeat your CV. That's not a task. They've already read it a lot of times. So you better choose some specific aspects that highlight your strengths and show clear accomplishments depending on, um, on the role you've, you're applying for. Uh, so you have to show your motivation for the company, for example, by adding what you like about their products. So you should do a small research and you better talk about that you really like this company and you really like um, these things about the company. It's, it will help you a lot or some questions that you have about the company, you should put on the end for the, of the interview. So you just talk about yourself a little bit and you describe why you are a great fit for this position. Question number two, what motivates you to work or what motivates you to work here? Why they ask this question? Uh, with these questions, uh, the job interviewers want to understand if you're truly excited about the job that you are chosen for. Consider this for a company. Um, there is no worse outcome than hiring someone and then this person leaves again after a few weeks. How to answer this question? For this question, it's important that you did your research. What are the products of the company? Um, what is their vision and what are their values? How do they present themselves um, as an employee? Um, pick the one aspect that honestly resonates with you and tell them why. 
or you can just add some questions. I've read that you are doing this and this and can you please explain me if it's if it's possible i think they would really be happy to share something about their company when you are really interested also include which of the tasks you'd like to work on the most that's very important and this should be connected of course to the job position question number three is why do you want this job oh my god i i i was I, I got this question a lot of times in my life. Why do you want this job? Yeah, this this question is a little weird, but you should also know how to reply it. This, your answer can be short and clear. You don't have to talk a lot in, in this um, question. Uh, the interviewer wants to know how much you really want the job and what's make you suited for the role and for how long time you will work on this position. Um, explain what makes you a good fit for the position and what you would focus on if you the if you were hired. Uh, you should also talk about the aspects of the company and the role will which appeal to you. So your answer can be really good when you um, have learned a lot about the company and the position, and that that will make you. Um, that will help you to get this job position and you will not be nervous because you've already know all the information that you need. So let's go to the question number four. And um, from my experience, this question will be for sure, what are your main th strengths? And sometimes people ask about your weaknesses. Um, I wasn't asked about my weaknesses, but why they ask this question? Of course, this question is a standard um, and will be asked in a lot of interviews, as well in my interview. Usually it's used to get a better picture of you as a candidate and what you will bring to the, to the, ta on the, to the table. Also, it's used to see if you can honestly self-reflect how to answer it. Yeah, it's a tricky question, to be honest. and. You want to be honest, but also leave a good impression and you don't want to talk a lot about yourself. This is weird, I know, but so far uh, the strengths. Um, so for the strengths, uh, you want to pick a skill or a personality trait of yours that is difficult to master. It should be related to the job, of course. Uh, you can pick one or two skills of yours and for example, I am very well organized. Or if you're applying for um, some jobs that that needed that need this skill, right? Uh, for your weaknesses, on the other hand, make sure to only mention skills that can be learned and are not hundred percent relevant for the job. That's my <laughs> that's my trick. So you don't want to talk bad about yourself. But when you talk about your um, something that is that that is your weakness, uh, make sure that it's not related to, to the job or not hundred percent relevant for the job, and make sure not to use personality traits here as they are hard to change. Question number five: uh, Tell me about your difficult challenges that you had in your previous job. Uh, it's not good to talk about your previous job a lot, but what you want to do is to show what makes you great in your previous job and what did you do good for your company in the past. Why the ask this question? This is a classical question, so it assumes that uh, how you behaved in the past will be indicative of how you will behave in the future. The interviewers want to learn about your habits and how you usually deal with difficulties at the workplace. For example, they can, um, what I got is, it was a question that uh, when I have a lot of tasks uh, for the day, uh, how would I choose, what should I do at first? And of course you have to mention that all the tasks are important and that you have to do all of them. Um, yeah, you don't have to give um, 
correct direct um, answer but you have to say that everything is important at your workplace so choose a challenge that is related to the job you will be doing at this company to show you have expertise solving challenges in this area. You might want to prepare this ahead of the interview because it might be tough to come up with a good situation in the interview. Talk about the situation and the tasks you are doing. Make sure to highlight the path of how you approached the challenge and the accomplishment and learnings you are um, you you got from it yeah at some point usually towards the end of the interview you can expect your potential employee to allow you to ask them questions they might say haben sie fragen für uns or do you have any questions uh, for us or for me uh, so this might be the question number six <laughs> the interviewers want to give you a chance to ask any open questions that you might have and what I did is I said that, yes, I have a lot of questions, but uh, now it's really interesting to know about. And you just pick a question that is very interesting for you. Of course, you might be lost and you would lose all the words. <laughs> but yeah, you, you just um, can pick any questions about uh, the company or yeah, I, I would better prepare it in advance because probably you will be asked this question. So your answer should always be yes. This way you signal that you're very interested in the job, never say no. <laughs> uh, this is another opportunity to show your interest in the company and the role and to resolve any unanswered questions. Uh, questions so it's a good idea to have a selection of questions prepared in advance it can be about the company or it can be also about a job position that you're hiring for i think it's easier to talk about the job position that can you make clear these things for me or can you tell me more about my work day when i will be hired of course yeah i think these questions will suit for every job yeah you could uh, touch on details of your potential employment contract and working hours so just small easy questions that are of course interesting for you but avoid asking too many questions about holiday leave and so on or even don't talk about holidays and vacations on your first job interview <laughs> that's weird but you know some people are very interested in on holidays <laughs> so question number seven uh, what do you know about the company uh, these questions um, it's I'm not sure that they will ask you this question usually the employee is uh, talking um, I mean they are talking about the company by themselves and then they ask asking if you have any more questions but yes you know you can't be prepared for everything so here is your chance to demonstrate your work ethic by showing you've done some homework and you research about the company at least some <laughs> important information uh, on the first page so don't bore them with details if already know like the company was founded in 1995 no we don't need it but instead prepare some key talking points for instance major company milestones or launches conclude by uh, outlining how companies brand or mission aligns with your own personal or career goals thank you miki <laughs> question number eight and this question they can ask for sure why do you want to leave your current role so why are you getting fired or right you you are living on your own you will need to prepare an answer for this question that's uh, honest about your current work situation uh, but keeps things positive even you are leaving your current job under difficult circumstances this isn't the best time to share lots of information say that you want to make a change in your career and explain how this job fits into that plan 
and I think it will be very short and nice answer for this. Yes, as you can see, there are many interview questions you can already prepare for in advance to make sure you make the best out of the interview setting and show what makes you the best candidate. I wish you good luck and please write uh, on the comments what questions did you already get during your job interview and have you already done a job interview in Germany and how was it? Did you get a job or yeah, just share your experience. It will be very nice uh, to read all of your comments and I will be very happy. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.